And so what we see in high performance teams is it's all, almost always cross-functional, you know, rooted in agile principles where teams work together, they have a shared objective, uh, they're allowed freedom to explore ideas, uh, you know, fail fast, uh, do a whole bunch of tests and learn and iteratively get better rather than spend six months in design and six months in build and six months in implementation. Uh, and I think that's where the fun really happens. Uh, and then from that point on, then you have a solution to that problem, but you're not done because the boundary conditions change, the business situation changes. So it has to have a feedback mm -hmm. loop. It has to keep getting better and better and better. So, so this whole process, I think there's been a mindset shift from let's say 10 years ago, where all of these were viewed as sort of technology solutions, right? So old school technology solution was built by some business requirements, a good six to 12 months of design, a good sort of six to 18 months of build and a six to whatever months of implementation. And then three years have gone and then you begin to see impact and then you say, oh, this is off or we're not seeing what we need to, but oh, it's now we're sort of embedded in this, so it's really mm. hard to course correct. Whereas if you look at how AI solutions are building, being built and getting scaled, it's totally different, right? It is three months to a minimum viable product that's in market or in the field and has some feedback loop and it being better. And then the next version builds on top of it. So very much sort of modern product roadmap, modern architecture, uh, continued sort of loops of learning uh, which is really, I think, one of the secrets of getting value from AI.